That is. Okay. Good afternoon, Siddesh. How are you? Good afternoon. I'm good. How are you? Okay. Um, can you please introduce yourself? Yes. So I'm Siddesh Mengede. I have been studying here since twenty. Uh, I'm studying here in BE Computer Engineering uh, since twenty twenty one, and my current CGPA is eight point one eight. Um, nice. Yeah, and I'm currently working on my academic project, which is the anonymous communication website, uh, and we are trying to integrate the. AI powered content moderation. Okay, okay. So, all right. So you have. I was just going through your skills. So yes. majorly, you are a Python person. Yes. I can take out from a resume. Okay. Yeah. And our company is majorly looking for a candidate who will work on Java. Yes. Okay. So I'll ask you. Uh, if I'll ask you rate yourself out of ten in Java. So how much you will rate yourself? Um, I would rate myself seven, six, or seven because I studied Java in school in tenth grade uh, because I had it in my syllabus. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Java in so, tenth grade. Yeah. So I never went back to it properly in college. It it was always there in my syllabus here. So I was studying it, but okay. yeah, I'm more inclined towards Python. Fine. Uh, Sidish candidates usually go through internship in their curriculum. Yes. So uh, have you done any kind of internship somewhere? Um, no, just those course-based ones which are available online. Yeah, yeah. Um, the course-based ones which are available online, but I've not joined anywhere As until you know, now. Uh, the norms of Pune University, if you are undertaking B, yes, right, you are supposed to work on an internship mandate in Delhi. Is it true? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes, but uh, they do have mentioned it in the syllabus that you can uh, undertake any course-based internship, which would take you through a software development process. What is course-based internship? Um, so basically, we have recorded lectures and we communicate with somebody from that company once in a while, and uh, you just have to watch it and think about it, and then you'll have to make your final project. So they teach you, and then you'll have to make the final project. That's it. But that is not an internship. Uh, yeah, but yeah. But it works. It yeah, works. I did get to make my project. I built a movie recommendation system in that one. Yeah, but this is a technical question. Yes. Uh, can you explain me the methods we used in the list in Python? Um, we do have length of the list. We can calculate the length of the list. Um, For the list. Yes, we can sort the list in a linear time using the sort method. Okay. Um, uh, decorators, we use in Python. Oh uh, yes. Can you explain? Um, they are used to identify a function in uh, Python which class it belongs to, and in basically it, it is used a lot more in the object-oriented part. Okay. Can you explain me the NumPy? Uh, NumPy is a library. Yes, yes, for uh, in data science, and it is used to. Um, it is used in a lot of statistical calculations in um, data science, like calculating the mean or median, and uh, it gives a structure of a NumPy array to your data set. Okay. Uh, are you aware about Django? Yes. Why do we use? Uh, it is a web framework for Python. It is used to build websites using Python. Uh, can you explain me the thread life cycle? Which we use in Python. Um, yes. So you'll uh, we we have to f initialize a thread, fetch it, and uh, it will continue running, and you can stop the execution once the program is completely executed. Okay. Data types which we use in Python. Um, string data type, uh, integer, float data type, and okay. list. Whether tuple is mutable or immutable. Uh, Tuple is immutable. You have mentioned SQL. So, will you tell me the difference between truncate and truncate? Um, truncate would delete the values in the database, but the structure of the table will still exist. Drop will delete the entire thing. Okay. Wildcard operators we use in SQL. Sorry. Wildcard operators we use in SQL. Wildcard. Yes. Um. Can't recall, but which are clauses we use in SQL? Uh, the where clause. Okay. 
the hereby clauses also. Sorry. Hereby. Sudesh, other than the fact that Python is an easier language as compared to Java, what uh, are the reasons why you chose Python for Java? Um, it helps in the data science part. I feel like Java, uh, Python is a lot more accessible and uh, you can modify and work with the data sets easily using Python. And also it is dynamically. Do you want to establish a career in data science? Um, yeah, I would. But like in order to start, I would not mind uh, working with Java as well as uh, Python. Like, why do you want to work with uh, work in the data science domain ultimately? What is your understanding and knowledge about data science? Just data science, or yeah. like, yeah, I would, I like to analyze the data that of is analytics. That is data analytics. Okay. Yeah. What is your understanding of data science? Um, so data science is used to use the data for the betterment of the company and how. So if we think about SAP, SAP, data science could be used in SAP. Uh, in the future, but um, yeah, in, in my opinion, data science is used to take the data analysis part. It it, it uh, does precede data science. Data analysis does precede data science in the uh, methodology. Um, so, uh, my question to you is that uh, since you want to work in data head, okay, so have you learned any uh, data visualization tools or data analytics tools? Um, Are you aware of any tools like that? I am aware of Power BI okay. and uh, that is, uh, I have learned it during uh, the syllabus in the college. Okay. But I feel like I am inclined towards data science, but I feel like um, I'm more into uh, working my way through it and reaching for machine learning and uh, deep learning parts of it. Okay. So. One more question I want to ask. Just now you have said that you are aware about Django. Yes. Right? How do we create the virtual environment then? Uh, using the dot .vnv method. Can you write this in text for that? For creating a virtual environment. Yes. Uh, it What's is, the reason to create the virtual environment? So that um, all the packages that uh, you require for a particular website or the databases and other resources are uh, installed and ready to be used in a How do you pass the particular um, to create the virtual environment. And then the arguments in this. Are data science and software development the same thing? Um, no. no. But you told me right now that you want to make a career in data science. Your resume says that you want an entry level role in software development. Yes. No, no. Like, <laughs> I, I, I do want an entry level role in software development, but uh, in the long run, I'm not looking forward to stick with uh, websites and development forever. I will uh, proceed to uh, learn machine learning and I'm learning math for machine learning right now. And that is why I feel like data science is a lot lot more important before I mention that I need to uh, aim for machine learning. But you are aware that when you start your career, you always like, it is preferable that you start with development and gradually you move into data science analytics and uh, yes. you know, further things. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you for your time, Sudesh. We okay. will uh, update the final results which will give you in some time. Okay. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.